Hi guys, in this video I'm going to teach you how to get the images for the rock, paper, scissors game that we're creating. Before we get started, please make sure to like, subscribe. It helps the channel grow and it helps other people see this video. The first thing we're going to do is look at the images that we're going to need. It's going to be a total of 10 images. The first ones that we're going to get are going to be the rock, paper, scissor hands. These hands are actually aren't available for you to get individually unless you pay for them. So we're going to have to crop them go ahead and click on the link that I left in the description and it should take you to this website here and this image once you get to the image right click and save it and download it straight to your computer now the image itself is not going to do us any good because it's a total of three images in one so we're gonna have to crop these to do that go to resizeimage.net click upload image and upload the image that you just downloaded. Once you upload it, it's gonna pop up here. To crop it, click select, click on the corner and select the piece that you want. I think that's good here. Click crop. And there's the cropped image now you can scroll down if this is selected go ahead and unselect it and change the pixels to 256 by 256 click resize image and then download the image I already downloaded it so I'm not downloading it but as you can see here it went from 368 by 957 pixels to the new size that we selected once you do that go ahead and find that image it should be in your downloads folder this is the one here and right click it and open it in paint 3d or regular paint would works just fine let's make it bigger we're going to color the background of it Click on the fill bucket and select the color. Click on the background. I'm also going to color the white piece here. So I'm going to make the image bigger. And I'm going to get rid of that line that goes up around the hand. To do that, click marker and go around the image just like this. Make sure you get everything. I just think it looks cleaner this way that's why I did it and don't do that if you do that just click undo and you can start again all right once you are done with that menu and click save if you don't click save it's not going to change any, any of the changes that you made and it's gonna be really frustrating believe me it's happened to me before that's gonna be the hand the rock hand by this time create a, a folder name it rock paper scissors and save all of your images in this folder go ahead and name them what I named them here we're gonna need these names when we actually write the code you're gonna do the same thing with the paper hand so just go to back to resize image.net you're gonna have to re-upload the original image in order for you to get that hand the paper hand and the scissor hand once you do do the same thing remember to change it to 256 by 256 and download that image let me go ahead and do this one with you so I'm gonna, I'm gonna select it from here and if you don't have a mouse you're gonna have to use your arrows on your keyboard to go down because you're gonna keep your finger down as you're selecting this then you let it go when you're done selecting and go back with go back up with the arrows because if you try to go with your mouse or with your uh, pad from your computer or laptop which is I'm using it's gonna let go of what you just selected so click crop and it should crop the image for you change the size and resize image and download it and do the same thing open it with paint and go ahead and paint it 
that should take care of your hands next we're gonna get these images here the rock paper scissors this image here I'm using it as an icon and it's gonna be similar to what you see here so we're gonna put that image here first let's get these images the way I found them is I just went to Google and I typed in rock paper scissors emoji cartoon and they popped up this is one of the images if you want to go with this go ahead and click it and click on the link it should take you to this website iconfinder.com this image is actually two dollars uh, if you go with the other images that I got which are these I mean it's gonna be eight bucks so it, you know it gets a little bit expensive if you don't have money but if you don't it's all good I'll show you where you can get other images if you do decide to go with these once you buy it, it's going to give you an option for the size that you want. Go with 256 by 256. The reason I keep saying that is because all of your images should be the same size. This is the size that I went with, and I think it's a good size. I think if you go uh, with, I think it's 128, the images are too small for this game. If you go with something higher than 256, I think they're too big. But I'll leave that up to you. Now, if you don't want to buy these images, just go back to uh, Google. And there's other images that you can find for uh, rock, paper, scissors. Actually, you can go to flaticon.com. On the search bar, type in paper, for example. And here's paper. I know these aren't the coolest images, but at least you'll get the game done. If you want this image, this option lets you select the size. Once you select the size, it should download it straight to your computer. So that's how you would get your rock, paper, and scissor if you didn't want to pay for it. Let's say, let's look for a rock. So here are some images of rocks. This is actually the image that I first used when I created this game. So no shame in it. I know it's not the coolest one, but at least you'll get the job done. All right. So that's how you get your rock, paper, scissor images. For the icon image, we're going to do one more step. Let's say that you already got the image that you want. You're going to go to icoconvert.com. Choose that file. And then you're going to upload it by clicking upload here. It's going to upload the file. And you're just going to go down here and, and convert it to ICO. What this is doing is it's converting the image into a very small image that you can use as a icon. So if we go to the details of this image, you can see it's 48 by 48. And all the other images are... 256 by 256 all right so that's the step that you're gonna have to do for your icon for these you win you lose images I also did a simple Google search I just typed in you win and icon and a bunch of them popped up here this one's actually pretty cool too but to find the one that I use just scroll down and here it is Click it and then click on this link here. It should take you to canstockphoto.com. This image is actually uh, 250 for the smallest one. That's the one that I went with. But this one is 800 by 800 pixels. So if you do buy this one, you, you are going to have to go to resizeimage.net and upload that image. And you're going to have to resize it to 256 by 256. All you have to do is just, just like with the other ones, change these values here and it should upload that image in the right size for you uh, here's the here's the you win here's the you lose in white um, and you also they also have them in black and there's other ones here that are pretty cool too now if you don't want to pay for this once again go back to Google and 
you can use some of these images some of them you also have to pay for but some of them are free so you're gonna have to look around and that's it that's how you get the images for this game that's gonna be it for this video i'll see you guys in part two